Excuse me. Welcome back. I'm Derek, and I'm turning a 1982 Ford box truck without a box into an overland rig that I can travel around in and live out of. Last time, I started working on the new box, and this time, I'm going to try to finish that. Those are all up. Here we are. That's looking pretty cool. What's left? So I've got four of these left. I don't remember what all these are for. I think I need a haircut. Yeah, that, that's, that's all I got right now. That's all I got. Oh yeah, do you remember how last time the frame ended up being a little twisted? Well, this is my brilliant fix for that. In retrospect, trying to add weight to the frame while I weld in the rest of the pieces wasn't probably the best idea. Eh, whatever. These metal cutoff discs are the only cutoff discs you should use, in my opinion, uh, because they're a lot safer, they don't fly apart, they also last a lot longer, they don't do great for a living. So this isn't gonna be the last time, and I mean, this happens on big projects like this, but this part is starting to drag on a little bit, and it's getting harder and harder to find the enthusiasm and motivation to just get this part done. But I don't get to move on to the fun stuff until this is done, so what you gonna do? So I'm definitely feeling a bit more motivated and focused today than yesterday. Uh, I started to realize it often happens. Part of the problem, you know, it's turning into that fractal where it's like you're looking at it and then there's like, oh, I could do more here. And then you, oh, I could do more here. And then you, you keep going in and there's like infinitely more to do. Part of the way that I tend to solve that for myself is, uh, move on to something else. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. I don't normally like jumping too far ahead on stuff, uh, but I think that daydreaming about the interior is gonna be more interesting for you and more motivating for me. Big open blank canvas, right? Uh, first big question, what's that hole in the floor? That's gonna be the shower. Uh, and I'm sure I'm gonna talk a lot more about this, but for now, you've got to pick your luxuries when you're dealing with a space like this. And for me, a good proper shower is absolutely one of them. Next, the kitchen. Uh, I don't need much. I need like a sink, a cooktop, uh, probably a fridge, I guess. And that's about it. Ah, the computer. So it is my job. Uh, and then I edit these videos. And then everything else I do basically revolves around the computer, so this takes a pretty big priority. But I also want it to be super compact and get out of the way when I don't need it. So things like the monitor and the speakers, those stay put on this narrow part. And then everything else, like the keyboard, the mouse, the laptop, that goes on this part that folds out when I need it and then just goes away when I don't. All right, so there is gonna be a pass-through from the living quarters to the cab, but it's not gonna be the full width. So that gives me this nice little space here where I can put some storage. I'm thinking it's gonna be these big drawers that come out and there's maybe some shelves and some space for jackets. Sleeping. I want as much open space as possible. So I'm going to forego a mattress for now in favor of just sleeping in a hammock. But at the same time, I'm keeping this whole design very, very modular. So if I want to add a proper bed at some point, I can. Welcome back. Yesterday was an actually awful day. Massive winds, rained a ton. This is normally a road. We may have a little bit of this kind of situation to deal with where these are oh, supposed to be right there. Now I'm not gonna lie, that is my fault. When I put those up, I was lazy. Um, and I only uh, put in a few screws. So before I'd make any more progress on the van, I've gotta get that taken care of. Oh, 
job then. Yesterday, I cut these. Uh, fire, this is going. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. All right, well, actually, now I'm excited because this is gonna really start to look like a thing. Um, this is gonna be super awkward to mount in there. I have no idea how that's gonna go, but I guess we're gonna give it a shot because what else you got to do? Yeah, enough of this. I don't have that much time to work today. Ladda! Ha ha! Wee wee, back at Angle in. Oh, almost, almost. Oh, so close. Uh. Huh. Go. Oh. Oh, we're past. I just realized it should be like basically dark by now, but it's not. Crap, that means it's gonna start getting warm, which is good but bad, because then it'll start getting hot. I'm gonna go. Mm. Ow. Ow. Yep. Ow. Okay. <sighs> you didn't see that. Yeah, I'm not used to that bar being there. And I may have just uh, jumped right up into it. Apparently, I did not film myself putting up the final two rear bars. So, use your imagination. Yay, okay, I already did this. But here you go. <laughs> the garbage truck. Uh, let me see, the rusts are, of course, weldy. Nope, the welds are, of course, rusty. So today we're gonna start with the, the bolts that I gotta put in. And then I guess it's time for these long bits that stick back. Time for those to come off. There we go. There it is, all choppy choppy. Suddenly it looks a little bit less horrifyingly massive. Yeah, I like it. The roof is dented there. I don't think I did that. Actually, it's dented over here too. That's fine. Did you really get a hammer? So it got very windy. I am, I guess, done doing any kind of spray paint. It's annoying. I need to clean out the container. That's where I'm gonna try to start doing as much work as I can uh, until it comes to, you know, putting it on the, the van. I thought I was just about done for the evening. And then I had an idea. You see that? I'm gonna move that right here. No, no, yep, right there. Basically, it's made of steel and it's filled with steel. Oh, the whole thing, it's all just steel. When I moved it, it's supposed to be clear, when I moved it from here, AKA where I'm going to move it, it took just about everything that I had in me to make that happen. So now I'm gonna do that. 
just for fun. Anyway, join me. Okay, actually this isn't that bad. Why? Why? Yep, my feet will not stick. My feet simply say no. I get it. No. Nope, that's not gonna work. There we go. Okay, it's literally not actually that heavy. So I'm gonna need to go to the store and buy the stuff for the floor. I'm gonna have to buy plywood. I'm gonna have to buy foam. I'm gonna have to buy FRP or poly wall. Blah, 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 blah. Going to the store, it's turning into a theme. I end the video by going to the store. Mm-hmm, I'm going to the store. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.